Find the force on the window AB from the water and the place where that force acts. The depth into the page is 1.5 meters and the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So A is 2 meters down from the surface of the water and B is 5 meters down from the surface of the water. If the window AB went all the way up to the surface, we'd be all set. We would know that the, surf the pressure at the top of the water would be zero, and the pressure at B would be rho G times H, which in this case is five meters. That would give us nice triangular loading, and we could find the equivalent point load due to that distributed load. We'd have an entire triangle. The nice thing about that is that you can say that the base times height times a half would give us the entire triangle where this part is rho g h and h is 5. That's the area of the triangle, one half base times height, and then I have to multiply by the depth into the page to get units of force. That's the entire distributed load if the window went to the surface, surface of the water. But the window doesn't go to the surface of the water. The top part of the water doesn't press a, on the window. So what I want to do is I want to say, I want to consider this where this is the surface of my water, pressure is zero at the surface, and I want to go down just to point A. And the pressure at point A is rho g times two. This is another nice triangular distributed load that we can deal with. In this case, I'm going to say that this is F top, where this is one half, here's my triangle, base times height, where the base is rho g h, and the height is two meters. This is the height of my triangle. And then I have the 1.5, which is the depth into the page again. Now, I can figure that out. This total force on the glass has to be what I would have if I had the whole thing, minus the part that's not actually pressing on the glass. So the total resultant force has to be 183937.5, which is what you get for F all, minus 29430, which is what you get for F top. That's 154507.5 newtons. That's the resultant force. What I've done is I've considered this whole triangle minus this top part, which doesn't press on the glass. We have another part to the question. Where does this force act? Right now what we have, here's the surface of the water. This is A, this is B. Right now I have an entire triangle. This was what we would have if we, it had gone all the way up to the surface of the water. And I can say that that acts at two-thirds of the way up, which is five over three or two-thirds of the way down, one-third of the way up. And I also have F top, which is acting at two-thirds up from A, or four-thirds down from the top. Now, what I have actually is all of the triangle minus the part from the top that's not actually there. I want to say this is equivalent to some single force, FR, which acts somewhere between A and B at some height H, so that these two things are equivalent. Remember what an equivalent system is. An equivalent system is anything where the sum of the forces is the same and the sum of the moments is the same. Well, the sum of the forces is the same because I defined FR as F all minus F top, but I do need to check that the sum of the moments is the same. So I need the sum of the moments for the old one and the sum of the moments for the new one to be exactly the same. What I have for the old system is F all acting at five thirds away from B minus F top because F top is a negative force at three plus two thirds away from B. I can plug those numbers in from what we got up on top and get 198652.5. On my new system, all I have is FR times H. And FR we found at 1454507.5 times H. As long as I define these as being positive in the same direction, which I have. So I'm taking the moment at B positive clockwise. Then I can set one of them equal to the other and solve for H. H is 1.2857 meters. Answer the question. FR is 155 kilonewtons to the right at 1.29 meters above B.